Welcome to the Practice Podcast, conversations probing the nature of practice. I'm your host, Dave Firon. Somewhere back in these conversations, and I think it was with Peter that it was said, practice is our practice. (laughs) And so it has been during the last period of Peter's wonderful life and on since to this day, over a year since Peter passed away. On April 1st of that year, a week or so after Peter left us, I recorded a solo session as I'm doing now, saying a sudden end and a hopeful beginning would be the theme of that particular recording. (laughs) Well, this time there's another southern end, which we can expect when practice is our status, our way of being in the world. And it's a good one this time. (laughs) No, nobody has passed away. Instead, Anthony Rivera, who really brought the background (laughs) life to this whole series over 130 episodes it was all due to anthony rivera's talent his way of being his patience his methodical and careful attention to detail which certainly balanced out my lack of that <laughs> sent me a note today just before we would have our weekly meeting production meeting and said, I reached a point where I have to stop doing what I'm doing for you in order to excel in what I'm now doing with my practice, which is to become a filmmaker, an extraordinarily potential for making a great life for himself and people he loves. And my work, which he would do off and on and never failed, was really starting to make him feel, uh, you know, he just can't do it all. And who hasn't reached that point in our life? (laughs) So I'm happy for Anthony Rivera. I have to tell you that uh, maybe I'll figure out how to get him to do one more podcast with me about this transition. But he's a a humble guy and a a real worker bee, and I I doubt if uh, he wants... uh, more camera time or microphone time in the case of a podcast. So I'm thinking art does imitate life. The art of working now on uh, the book that Peter Vale started and I agreed to help him carry on and finish, which is now when my work is underway. Uh, and uh, I'm excited about it and I'll be sharing more about it in the podcast if I can find someone to replace Anthony. And I'm quite sure that that's possible. And that's a lesson about being a solo practitioner in a way. We aren't solo practitioners. We only achieve what we do if we can collaborate with someone about whom we care and who cares about us and cares about the purpose of the work. We're one wing flapping if we don't have someone, at least one person to collaborate with. And some are very fortunate to have quite a few people with whom to collaborate, but collaboration is it. This is the big lesson of my moment here. We have to find someone when we're at a certain point when we can't do it alone, who can either do it for us, with us, or teach us to do it. And now my confession, the things that Anthony did digitally with his gift for production, I could have learned and I would have been moving along very seamlessly. And maybe Anthony and I would work on other aspects of this of this endeavor. But no, I got comfortable knowing that I could rely on this fine young man for over two years, two and a half years, I think. He's helped me since he graduated from uh, Central Connecticut State University, never failed. And uh, 
I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss that collaboration. I don't think it'll be the last time because some point up ahead in his finishing his Masters of Fine Arts, becoming even more of the filmmaker that he dreamed to be. When I first talked to him way back about starting that master's degree, talked with him, not to him. He's going to be doing great stuff, and I definitely want to capture more of his practice in a future podcast. So, sudden, but not so sudden. I kind of knew I was really weighting him down when I asked him to help us proofread、uh, the digital book that we're working on, called "Practice as a Way of Being: Peter Vale's Conjectures." On how practice can matter to you, and why it matters to you, and why it matters to me, and why it matters to everyone. I hope is listening. Practice does matter. It takes us out of our day to day and says, "This is what you're going to be doing tomorrow." And are you excited? <laughs>、uh, I do the exciting. So if I start going, "Oh no!" Now that Anthony can't help me anymore. I guess I'll have to end the podcast series. I thought of that maybe 32 seconds when I read Anthony's message. And now I'll call him. We'll talk. He's got to make sure that everything that we worked on is set up so that I can make a seamless transition and find someone else with whom to collaborate on the technical side of this.、Um, but you know, I can't stop. Doing this form of teaching, it really does, among many other wonderful gifts that my life has brought me, make me happy to look forward to the next conversation that I'm going to record. And I have several lined up for October, just as Peter and I were excited about lining up conversations that April of 2020,、uh, which he never got to do. I did them, and kept on doing them. With a heavy heart, but after a while, I could almost hear Peter saying, "Okay, great. I handed you the torch, Dave. Just keep going, because until there's a balance in people's awareness between the theories and models and all kinds of information that's coming to us, it's telling us how to do stuff, how to be a certain way. Until." Those folks understand that we have a great deal to say about what we're actually going to use and how we're going to use it to do the work that matters most to us. That gap has to be closed because we who do are going to keep on doing one way or another, and we'd love to have better, better tested out and carefully reasoned through theories about how to do things that way and better. That community needs to have, I believe, and Peter believed, and hopefully you do too, a more clarity as to what it takes for us to be in practice at all. And we conjectured 32 ways on that <laughs> in the book we're working on. There are hundreds of more ways to conjecture, but I can tell you this one in concluding this sanctimonious offering. <laughs> one thing that practice is is. Collaborative. We've got to be able to share the labor, if you will, if we're going to advance anything, anything at all. I can't think of one person who's individually claimed success and has even become a celebrity because of it. Who did that without people like Anthony Rivera, who have the persistence and the character and the quiet. Easy. I can do that. We can figure that out. Look at this over here, Dave. Click on that kind of character. That's the collaboration we all need. And I was given a tremendous leg up <laughs> into becoming a conversationalist and a podcaster because of Anthony Ant Rivera. So thank you, Anthony.
Thanks for listening to the Practice Podcast, where we discuss practice with a capital P. If you'd like to hear more, listen in on Spotify, Automatic, and Apple Podcasts, or go to inactionresearch.com slash podcast dash page. And if you'd like to learn more about social inaction and the nature of practice, head over to inactionresearch.com for more information. Thank you for supporting this show. We look forward to hearing from you soon.